I have been waiting for this moment since I started my movie reactions on this channel. We're watching Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. We got seven films to go through and I am ecstatic. I'm gonna binge them all in a week. All the nerdy cinema stuff that you love and I love, I'm gonna talk about it. My name is Colette Cherry. Hi, hello, nice to meet you. If you're new here, let's watch the first Harry Potter. Privet Drive. Oh, it's a creepy owl. Uh, he's grabbing the lights. I like that. <laughs> the electricians are going to be confused about this one. I should have known that you would be here, <laughs> Professor McGonagall. Is the cat a professor? No way. So they can shape shift? <laughs> it's so cool. It is a movie about magicians, magic people, wizards. Are the rumors true? Help us. The rumors, uh oh. And the boy? Hagrid is bringing him. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? I love how they have the typical wizard outfits on. They're really playing into that. I mean, this guy, Albus, has a, a beard down to here. He's like the white wizard, you know, kind of like a, a Gandalf. But he's got the hat, and then she's got the wizard hat, too, and the cloak. You know, they're really dressed differently. They're, you can tell right away these are not normal people. Professor McGonagall? <laughs> no problems, I trust. Professor, I... Professor. No, sir. Hagrid. Little tyke fell asleep just as we were flying over Bristol. The little tyke? The little baby? Baby? Him. Oh, this is the boy. This is, they're saying that they trust Hagrid with the boy. Do you really think it's safe leaving him with these people? I've watched them all day. They're the <laughs> worst sort of muggles. Oh, that's sad to leave him with the worst. Good luck, Harry Potter. He's got a massive scar that looks recent too. Like it just happened. Get up! Oh, she seems like a witch. <laughs> he sleeps under the stairs in a closet. Wake up, cousin! <laughs> We're going to the zoo! What an obnoxious punk. <laughs> What a way to be woken up, banging on the door and then jumping above him with dust sprinkling on his head. Cook the breakfast and try not to burn anything. Yes, Aunt Petunia. Oh, her name's Petunia. That name just irks me. Bring my coffee, boy. Yes, Uncle Vernon. So he's their little servant? These people are just like rude pigs. I'm warning you now, boy. Any funny business, any at all, and you won't have any meals for a week. You're gonna s threaten to starve him for seven days. What the frick is wrong with you? It's abuse. Move! Move! He's asleep! He's boring. He's even cruel to animals. Like, this family is so obnoxious. I can't wait to see them get it. Just like... Can you hear me? Oh, so he can talk to animals. That's part of the gift. He's starting to learn his gift, you guys. I see. But that's me as well. Aww. I never knew my parents either. What an understanding kid. <laughs> He's relating to the snake. The child they picked here, this actor is, he's got the perfect little like sadness in his eyes mixed with a little mystery. He's so natural at acting. Thanks. Any time. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. No food for a week if, if, you, if you did this. Don't punish him, come on. How could he have possibly done that? There's no such thing as magic. You're gonna eat your words, piggy man. You're gonna eat it soon. <laughs> so you notice how his clothes are so oversized on him? Like, 
Dudley Dursley. What name is that? Punk. He looks like he's wearing Dudley's clothes that he grew out of. The cupboard under the stairs. Oh, no way. That's adorable. Whoa. God, look, how does this go to that side? What a punk. I'll be writing to you. It is writing to him. <gasps> what? <laughs> he knows about Hogwarts? He must know. If they're his family, then Harry had other wizards in the family that that guy knows. He's like, more letters, more letters. There's a lot of owls here. Hey, you better be concerned. Oh, they're everywhere. You can't control this, big boy. It's already happening. Harry must feel really wanted in this moment. Like, these people really want to write me a letter. <laughs> Fine day, Sunday. Best day of the week. Because there's no post on Sundays. Right you are, Harry. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's exhausted from getting so many letters. It's the only workout he did in the last 30 years. <gasps> oh, they're not stopping. This is definitely hinting at that Harry's animals and owl. Oh, it's gonna come. Yes! <laughs> the way the Dudley kid, <laughs> he jumped in his mom's lap. What a wussy. Open one, let's do it. It's raining letters. <laughs> oh, this family's so funny. We're going away. Why? Why they can't find us? Why is he trying to stop this so badly? Don't they hate Harry? What aren't? They, wouldn't they be happy if the letters are coming to tell him that he's got to go? Like, or do they just want to keep their servant that badly? Is this a selfish thing? I don't get it. <laughs> oh my God! A lighthouse in the middle of the ocean. Not the kid drawing a birthday cake in the dirt. <gasps> Hagrid! They really thought they could hide from this. Nope. That's a big man. You're a bit more along than I would have expected, particularly right in the middle. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm not happy. <laughs> oh, now you just have a little stutter, huh? Baked it myself, words and all. <sighs> Words and all, he made him a cake. <gasps> That's so sweet. Thank you. It's not every day your young man turns 11 now, 11. is it? 11. He has a birthday cake now, a real one. Rubius Hagrid, keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. Keeper of keys. You're a wizard, Harry. Um, I'm a what? This is every child's dream. I can't be a, a, a wizard. <laughs> you were talking to a snake not too long ago, bud. Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. <gasps> Always going to school. Be a wizard. Every kid would love this to happen to them. How could you not be my perfect sister being who she was? Oh, the sister. Mother and father were so proud of the day she got her letter. I see, so she's jealous of the sister. I will not pay to have some crackpot old fool teach him magic tricks. Pay? Never insult Albus Dumbledore in front of me. Yeah, that's right, Hagrid. Teach him a lesson. <gasps> oh, that's what I'm talking about. And they bring, if they desire, either an owl, a cat, or a toad. I see, you get... Three animals to choose from. He's definitely the owl boy. Bless my soul. It's Harry Potter. They know his name. His eyes. You just can't believe people know who he is. Doris Crockford, Mr. Potter. I can't believe I'm meeting you at last. They're so happy to meet him. Harry, this is Professor Quirrell. Professor He'll be your Quirrell. defense against the dark arts teacher. Oh, defense against the dark arts. That sounds powerful. Hey, Harry, you're famous. But why am I famous, Hagrid? All those people back there. How is it they know who I am? That must be weird. From being a nobody 
to everybody knows your name and values you as a person. Welcome, Harry, to Diagon Alley. <laughs> oh, this is just the hidden part of London that nobody else can see. The muggles can't get in here. Is he going to get a hat and a cloak like everybody else? It seems like wizards need to have a hat on. Out of a cat, a toad, and an owl, I think I would choose a cat. Nimbus. I haven't any money. Well, there's your money, Harry. Gringotts, the wizard bank. <gasps> He's got money in the bank from maybe his parents? He's so sweet. He didn't have any money. Let's see, let's see. I bet you he's gonna have a ton. Oh, look at these little goblins. What are they? What exactly are these things? They're goblins, Harry. Mm-hmm. The nose, the ears. Oh, and there's something else as well. Professor Dumbledore gave me this. Everyone really respects Professor Dumbledore. It's about you know what in fault, you know which. Mr. Dumbledore is the head of everything, so it's like there is a hierarchy. I'm sure it depends on power as a wizard, obviously. Like the better the wizard, the more power they have, the more revered and appreciated and respected. Well, 687. <laughs> Lamp, please. This is so insane. So the, the goblins like to guard the gold and the money. I, I like that. What? He's loaded. Didn't think your mom and dad would leave you with nothing though, did you? That's so sweet. He thought nobody cared about him, and look at that. Can't tell you, Harry. Hogwarts business, very secret. Some minutes in this vault, huh? That's a lot of protection for one tiny bag. I still need a wand. A wand? Well, you want Ollivanders. There ain't no place better. Ollivanders. I wonder when I'd be him. seeing you, Mr. Potter. Oh, Everybody knows Harry. I love that aspect for it. It's cool for him. Here we are. <gasps> well, <laughs> it's not the right fit. So he does the choosing, and the wand also chooses Harry. No. No, no, definitely not. I guess if you're a wizard, you're not stressed about things breaking because you can just boom, 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 make it come back. I wonder. He needs a special kind of wand because he's a special boy. I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. It so happens that the phoenix... The phoenix. ...whose tail feather resides in your wand gave another feather mm. just one other. To his mother, to his mom. It is curious that you should be destined for this wand gave you that scar. Oh. And who owned that wand? The person that tried to obviously kill you because he left you a giant scar. The wand chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. Oh, the wand chooses the wizard. Happy birthday. <gasps> it's a white, beautiful owl. There was one wizard that went as bad as you can go, and his name was... His name was... Why Why can't they say the name? All right. <laughs> say it! Voldemort. 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 Don't be shy. Come on, give us the deets. Voldemort started to gather some followers, brought them over to the dark side. Of course there's a dark side, like Star Wars. It's always good and bad. The contrast is important storytelling. Your parents fought against him. Oh, well, she's got the baby. But nobody lived once he decided to kill him. <gasps> nobody. Not one. Except for Harry. Something about you stumped him that night. That's why you're famous. That's why everybody knows your name. Ah, because he's the boy that Voldemort couldn't kill. Same every year, packed with muggles, of course. <laughs> Back from nine and three quarters this way. Oh yeah, follow follow them. Yeah, that's perfect. They look suspicious with their little carts. Uh-huh. They're going somewhere. They're going to school. What? 
Do the muggles see this or are they blind to this? Is walk straight at the wall between platforms nine and ten. Best do it at a bit of a run if you're nervous. Good luck. They have the most adorable redheaded family, I must say. The twins. Oh, so cute. Uh oh. <gasps> it worked! Oh, yay, he's in. He's doing this by himself, technically. He had a little bit of help, but so cool. Hogwarts Express. Do you mind? Everywhere Aww. else is full. Not at all. I love him. I love his hair. I'm Ron, by the way. Ron Weasley. I'm Harry. Harry Potter. He knows. Anything off the trolley, dears? No, thanks. I'm all set. He looks like he's gonna cry about it. We'll <laughs> take the lot. Yeah, buy him some food. You're the cool friend. Oh. Are you doing magic? Let's see then. <laughs> She's adorable. I love Emma Watson. Sure, that's a real spell. Well, it's not very good, is it? She's so proper. For example, Oculus Reparo. Nice. That's better, isn't it? Holy cricket. <laughs> They're impressed. I'm Hermione Granger. And... You are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. <laughs> She's not too excited about Ron. You've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? Just there. They're definitely gonna simp over her and fight over her. She's gonna be a catch. She's a smarty pants, a bossy girl, and confident. It's a pretty good package. Before you can take your seats, you must be sorted into your houses. <laughs> <laughs> they look scared. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. <laughs> he wants Slytherin, guys. Ooh, look at this set. Wow. They're straight up filming in a castle right now. It's beautiful. It's just bewitched to look like the night sky. It's just bewitched. I read about it in Hogwarts. A history. Of course you did. You read a lot, don't you? You're very studious. You're going to be really powerful. The dark forest is strictly forbidden to all students. The dark forest, eh? Also, our caretaker, Mr. Filch, has asked me to remind you. Oh, he looks pleasant. On the right hand side, He's out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to die a most painful death. Third floor. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll be avoiding that, they said. The kids are like, um, yeah, that's easy. Not going to go there. Ah, right then. Mm, right. The hat is just speaking while sitting. Gryffindor! <laughs> just like that? It just, it just reads them like that? Draco Malfoy. Interesting. And they stay in this one house the whole time. Slytherin! It didn't even have to touch him before it knew. That's not a quick job, was it? He went bad. It wasn't in Slytherin. Oh, Susan that's, Bones. That's. I would be in Slytherin. Every wizard who went bad is in Slytherin. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You know. I have a wild side. I have a duality to me. Although I don't know anything about the other houses, I just feel like I should be in Slytherin because the blonde-headed kid's in Slytherin. I just think I'd be a good fit, okay? Ah, another Weasley. Another. Gryffindor! Aww. So him and Hermione are together, it's, it's for sure. They're gonna end up together. But where to put you? He doesn't want to turn bad, as Ron said. Better be Gryffindor! Yes! I like how the hat considered Sly Slytherin for him, which means Slytherin and Gryffindor are kind of on equal footing. Oh, I wonder if he who should not be named Mr. Voldemort was in Gryffindor too. Oh, that's Professor Snape, head of Slytherin house. Oh, I'd be in Slytherin for sure, girl, you know. I vibe with Mr. Snape. Is that 
Look at his eyes. Potions. But everyone knows it's the dark arts he fancies. The dark arts. He's been after Quirrell's job for years. He wants to teach the defense against the dark arts. I see. This is the most direct path to the dormitories. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. No way. This stairs change while... Oh, that's freaky. Better learn your way. That's so cool. Nothing's easy about this. Keep up. You'd think if they're wizards, they could just fly into the air to their room, but they gotta take these stairs. Aww. He must feel so loved now. He has a new pet, best friends, a whole new house to belong to. He's not alone anymore. There will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. I love his voice. Oh my God. Gosh. And exact art that is potion. The deepness of his voice is like butter on rice. Bottle, fame, brew, glory, and That's even so put a stopper in death. Yes, sign me up. Believed to be the work of dark <gasps> wizards or witches. Oh. Gringotts goblins, while acknowledging the breach, <gasps> insist nothing was taken. Yeah, right. Number 713 had in fact been empty. It's definitely important. That's odd. That's the Vault Hagrid and I went Uh-huh, somebody's... Going after what they what they took. I think gosh Haggard took it out with that little small package. Haggard did ask him to not tell anybody, so so much for that. Oh now we're gonna learn how to fly. We got the brooms lined up, baby. Stick your right hand over the broom and say up. Voila. That was easy for him. When I blow my whistle, I want each of you to kick off from the ground hard. <laughs> this is gonna go really poorly. <laughs> half of them are gonna go, half are not. <gasps> Mr. Longbottom. I don't think he's doing anything. Come back down this instant. His broom is definitely messed up. He's not doing anything. <gasps> Maybe it was meant to be that Harry got that broom, you know? Uh-oh. Oh! <gasps> Can somebody... Okay, the teacher did absolutely nothing to help him. You know, any kind of spell to help the kid would have been great. I think I'll leave someone for long, but I'm to find. Hey, she said no riding your broom. Harry's gonna go after him. Harry, no way. You heard what Madame Hoop said. <laughs> She's such a boss. She's a bossy girl. I was like that when I was little. I have like home videos of me bossing around my twin brother like crazy. <laughs> Just like Hermione. Wow, he's already so coordinated. This is like, this is pretty impressive. And she saw him catch that ball. Harry Potter, follow me. She's not mad at him. She's gonna offer him something because he's so good. You wait here. She's so stern, but I trust her. I trust this professor a lot. Potter, this is Oliver Wood. I have found Ooh. you a seeker. A seeker. That's sick. Some kind of sport. You must be the youngest Quidditch player in a century. According to McGonagall. Oh, oh, he's got confidence now. A century. What if I make a fool of myself? You won't make a fool of yourself. It's in your blood. That's so sweet of her. She's very, very into both of these guys. Best friends automatically. Harry. You never told me your father was a seeker, too. Oh, that makes sense. Didn't know. He doesn't know anything about him. <gasps> Creepy. Why are they here? We're not supposed to be here. This is the third floor. It's <gasps> forbidden. Why would you go to the forbidden floor? And what's the cat Let's doing go. here? That's the cat, the mangy cat from the guard guy. We're done for. Oh, move over. Hello, Hamora. <laughs> Hermione's not to be bothered. Hello, Hamora. Standard Book of Spells, Chapter 7. I love this movie. Which is gone. Probably he definitely knew that they were there, but he's allowed it. And for good reason. Oh, scary. <laughs> oh, you just woke up a three-headed dog. Wolf monster. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so scary. You don't use your eyes, do you? Didn't you see what it was standing on? Oh, it's guarding something. Hermione's so observant. It was standing on a trap door, which means it wasn't there by accident. It's guarding something. Mm -hmm. If you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. <laughs> or worse, expelled. That's right, girl. Say it. 
She needs to sort out her priorities. <laughs> I love how Ron called her mental. That one, she mental. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. Look, Ron, you have a crush on her. It's so obvious, okay? You love her bossy little attitude and she tells you what to do. You just eat that up. You're just pretending like you're not into it. These boys both have a crush on her. Who wouldn't? Each team has seven players, three chasers, two beaters, one keeper, and the seeker. That's you. That's you. Look, Harry's gonna be the best Quidditch player ever. You better take this. Oh, is that the bat that they hit the ball with? Yes. It seems like a violent sport. Careful now. Doesn't it's seem back. very childlike. It seems aggressive. You catch this, Potter, and hmm. we win. That's what the seeker does. The ability oh. to make objects fly. Cool, let's do it. Wingardium Leviosa. That's how you get things to fly. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, this is so fun. To get things to fly as a kid. Oh. You do it, honey, if you're so clever. <laughs> come on, come on, Hermione. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, perfect. She's a nightmare, honestly. No wonder she hasn't got any friends. <gasps> Ron, you're such a punk. You don't mean that. You're obsessed with her. Fatty could tell so that she wouldn't come out of the girls' bathroom. What? And that she'd been in there all afternoon, <gasps> crying. Ron, go get your girl. Look what you did. <laughs> Turn her all in the dungeon. What? <laughs> if he's scared, you better be scared. Teachers will follow me to the dungeon. Do you think there's a ton of protection around Hogwarts, right? Things shouldn't be able to enter goblins, trolls. It should be way more protected. There's a snitch in the building. Somebody's doing this. There's a bad person. There's a spy. There's a traitor. What? Hermione. She doesn't know. Oh, yeah. She's just in the bathroom. Go get your girl. Go get your girl. Ron, you better make up and apologize to Hermione. Oh, I think the trolls left the dungeon. <laughs> The trolls definitely left the dungeon. What do you gotta, we gotta pee? Bathroom. <laughs> He's gotta take a whiz? Not, not in the bathroom, Hermione said. Stop. They're gonna distract. Hermione, move! Get the troll out of there. Come on, come on. Yeah, the, so brave. <laughs> Is the troll that dumb that he doesn't know that he's Flick. lifting him up well? Oh yeah, that's smart. <gasps> oh, that's smart. Cool. Cool. Thanks to Hermione teaching him the spell. I don't think so. Last not doubt. I love that they're being <laughs> like a troll snuck so into gross. Hogwarts and had to take a piss. That's what happened, quite literally. Be that as it may. It was an extremely foolish thing to do. He's been cut. More rational behavior on your part, and I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Granger. I bet you Snape has been messing with that three-headed dog. That's why he has a giant cut on his leg. He's been trying to get in to whatever the dog is guarding. Naughty, naughty Snape. That explains the blood. Blood? Yeah, he was bleeding. I'm guessing Snape let the troll in as a diversion. Oh. So he could try and get past that three-headed dog. Oh. He got himself bitten. That's why he's limping. That's smart. Day I was at Gringotts, Hagrid took something out of one of the vaults. Said it was Hogwarts business. Very secret. Mm-hmm. Snape once... Snape... I don't know about him. That's what the dog's guarding. That's what Snape wants. I think it's too on the nose to say that Snape is bad. And I think that's wrong. I think he gives off bad boy energy, but he's actually on Harry's team. Like, it's too on the nose for him to be the bad guy, you know? It's too, like, he's got the black hair, he's got the dark demeanor to him, the mysterious eyes, the deep voice. It's too on the nose. It's never on the nose. He's too obviously the bad guy, which means he's not. That's my theory. Bit early for Mel, isn't it? That's a broom. Not just a broomstick, Harry. It's a Nimbus 2000. We saw the Nimbus earlier in the movie. Oh, Professor McGonagall got it for him. I bet you this, this is gonna be a messed up game. Something very bad's gonna happen. <laughs> they have their colors on. Green's one of my favorite colors, so I 
such a Slytherin. I'm telling you, I just know. I know I'm a Slytherin. I know it. I don't feel like I know anything about them yet. <laughs> I'm still learning. But just based off the one blondie in Slytherin, I think I'm a Slytherin. And the fact that Snape is a Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> this is so very green screeny, but it, it works because the rest of the movie is so incredible. Oh, the sets are so good that this is okay. This this still sells for me. See, they keep showing us this guy, this professor. Look, Professor Quirrell is up to no good. They keep making a point and showing him. Slytherins actually seem a bit more mean-spirited, so I don't really think I vibe with that house. Are there any, like, nice Slytherins? I would hope so. I don't really associate with being a bully. It seems like all the bullies are from Slytherin. I don't like that. I mean, this is a competitive game, so in this atmosphere, it makes sense. <gasps> yes, get, get it. <gasps> See, his broom's been cursed. You should never... Expect to be safe if you're Harry Potter. You're the most famous boy. You have so many enemies. <gasps> it's Snape. He's jinxing the broom. Yeah, he is saying something. Don't leave it to me. Yeah, get him, Hermione. Go get Snape. Again, it's too obvious. Snape is not the bad guy. They want us to think that. He's probably trying to calm down the broom. Lacanum in Blamare. She lit him on fire, girl. What? That's a little too far. You're on fire! Holy crap, you're on fire. Uh oh, uh oh, who's gonna go farther? Oh, Harry did, Harry did it. Come on. Oh! He caught it, didn't he? No, not. Tell me he didn't swallow it. That should count. Yes! He's got the switch! He caught it in his mouth too. Gryffindor wins! So cool. And he's a first year, it just doesn't make any sense. Why would Snake put a curse on Harry's brew? Who knows? Why was he trying to get past that three headed dog? <laughs> How do you know all of this already? Fluffy. Fluffy. Well, of course he's got a name, he's mine. Uh, of course. Couldn't have said that. No more questions. Don't ask any more questions. That's top <laughs> secret, that is. Hagrid says too much. That's his thing. What that this. dog is guarding is strictly between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Flamel. Who is that? I shouldn't have said that. He says too much. I love Hagrid for that. You can, you can always get information from him. Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. <laughs> this Christmas sweater. Your father left this in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. So many like cryptic hidden messages here. We know, still know nothing about his up, his parents. We know nothing about his family. What is it? Oh, finally he's got his wizard's cloak. Well, finally. see them, put it on. <gasps> oh, sick. That's so cool. Yeah, that's how you're gonna do it. This is such a cheat code. Of course, how are we gonna get into the restricted part? We'll be invisible. I love this way that this is shot with him under the cloak. <gasps> if this, I, 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 you don't want <gasps> me as your yes. enemy, Quirrell. Yes, yes. Quirrell's bad. He can hear him. <gasps> Run, Harry. He knows he's there. When you've had time to decide where your loyalties lie. I love the way Snape talks. I love his voice. So Snape is on to the Quirrell guy. He said, it's time to see where your loyalties lie. Meaning that Quirrell guy is the rat, the bad guy. And Snape's on to him. He saw him doing something or talking to someone he shouldn't be. Yeah, it's definitely Quirrell. They're ma trying to make us think it's Snape, but it's not, I'm telling you. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Snape's looking out for Harry. He's on Harry's team. That's his mom, what we saw from the flashback. Mm -hmm. What a lovely mirror. 
I want to know more about the parents. Like, what happened? We know that Voldemort killed them and Harry survived. But like, why? What did they do to Voldemort? I know you, they were st sticking up to him. There. You see them, don't you? That's, That's me. Holy, I'm head boy. It must be based off of you, what you see. I see that you, like so many before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Arisette. <sighs> It shows your heart's desires. Of course, that's probably addicting. It shows us nothing more or less than the deepest and most desperate desires of our heart. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. And I must ask you not to go looking for it again. Deal. It does not do to dwell on dreams. I feel like we'll see this mirror again in another movie. The, uh, Hogwarts has a lot of strange, weird items. Like, they... They collect things. It's almost like a museum of magic. Uh, you just find so many cool things in this place, and then they they host it, and they say, oh, we don't want the sight of it anymore. Oh, the owl. And the snow. Nicholas Flamel <gasps> is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. The what? Mm. The only stone currently in existence belongs to Mr. Nicholas Flamel. Got it. Digital alchemist who last okay. year celebrated his 665th birthday. How so old? That's what Fluffy's guarding on the third floor. That's what's on That's the That's it, uh-huh. The Philosopher's Stone. You gotta get it, girl. Who's that? Malfoy. He's spying, that little twerp. Good evening. He told, what a snitch. Gives a student the right to walk about the school at night, therefore as punishment for your actions. 50 <gasps> points will be taken. But what about Malfoy? He's running around at night, too. No, you heard me correctly, Mr. Malfoy. Jeez. You see, honorable as your intentions were, you too were out of bed after hours. Yeah, rules are rules. You'll be serving detention with Hagrid tonight. Oh, that's so bad. He's got a little job to do inside oh, the dark never mind. forest. Isn't that the Forbidden Forest, the Dark Forest? Right. Let's go. I feel pretty good, though, with Hagrid, though. Look how big he is. He's a tough guy. What? Ew. Is it blood of some creature? What is that? <laughs> what we're here for. See that? That's unicorn blood. <gasps> unicorn blood? Yes. This one's been hurt bad by someone. Oh, that's so cruel. Somebody's lurking. Is this really where you should take the students for detention? What is it, Fang? Ew. What the... It's eating the unicorn. If his head's hurting, then that's gonna be Voldemort. Ew! You unicorn killer creep! Harry's not even scared. He's born for this. <laughs> Is that a centaur? It's half horse, half hit man. There's so many cool creatures in this movie. It's just, there's so much excitement that you feel. It feels like you're a kid watching this. It's, it's awesome. You must leave. You are known to many creatures oh. here. The forest is not safe at this time. Hagrid brought him in here. That thing that killed the unicorn. Is Voldemort. It's drinking its blood. Yeah. That was Voldemort. Ding, ding, ding. That's why his scar hurt. Do you know what is hidden in the school at this very moment, Mr. Potter? The Philosopher's Stone. Oh, does Voldemort need the Philosopher's Stone? That's what they're guarding it. Who's the one wizard Voldemort always feared? Dumbledore. As long as Dumbledore's oh. around, Harry, you're safe. Please, Dumbledore, don't die. Please, Dumbledore, don't die. That's an important thing to know. Dumbledore is more powerful. Don't you think it's a bit odd that what Hagrid wants more than anything is a dragon and a stranger turns up who just happens to have one? Yeah. How many people wander around with dragon eggs in their pocket? It's too random. I told him, I said, after Fluffy, a dragon's gonna be no problem. He told him about Fluffy. But I told him, I said, I said, the no. trick with any beast is to know how to calm him. Hagrid, you did not tell him how to calm him down. Play him a bit of music and he falls straight to sleep. I shouldn't have told you that. Hagrid. Now what do we do? We go down the trap door. I love the way Harry acts. It's so real. Some of the other characters in this movie are more like caricatures. They're more over the top and they make weird noises and they're silly, but Harry's just so realistic the whole way through. I won't let you. You'll get Gryffindor into trouble again. I, I, I'll fight you. Oh, Neville. Trificus Totalis. Ah! 
heart. Wait a minute. He's... Somebody's already here. Snoring. Someone beat him. Beat him to it. We have to move its paw. <gasps> Come on. They're fearless kids. Uh oh. Ew, what did they jump into? Great, it's gonna... It reminds me of Star Wars when they get dropped into the trash bin and the walls are closing in, but these guys are gonna get strangled to death by... Oh, now I can relax. Her face, she just accepted her fate. She was like... Come on, E, where are you? Do what I say. It'll drop if you relax. No, no, they're okay. <laughs> but we'll sulk in the sun, that's it. Devil's snare hates sunlight. Who must tell them? Oh, she's so brilliant. God, Hermione's the brains of the group. Curious. I've never oh. seen birds like these. Are those their keys? And I'll bet one of them fits that door. And you gotta find the one. What's wrong, Harry? It's too simple. Yeah, it is. If it's too on the nose, it's wrong. It's gotta be more. Listen to your gut, Harry. Uh-oh. <laughs> that one's a little slow. Okay, it's actually not slow. It's really fast. It's just a little broken. Yeah, if you were doing this alone, it would be very hard. Where are we? A graveyard. Mm. This is no graveyard. I like how they each bring something to the table. They all know information, but different it's information. And Ron's good at chess. Oh, frick yeah. Yeah, they all have their own thing they're really good at. They're the best team. There's the door. Uh-oh, you gotta win the game of chess first. Ron, you don't suppose this is going to be like... Uh-huh. Real wizard chess, do you? Barbaric? Like, yeah, it is. To E4. Oh shoot. Once I make my move, the queen will take me. Then you're free to check the king. No. Ron, no! I've heard this meme so many times. Oh my gosh, have I heard this meme a million times and people remake it. I've seen it all over TikTok and Instagram and... <laughs> Once I, I make, make my, my move, move, you're free, free to, take to check the king. The king. Just, no. boom, boom. It's like techno and it goes so deep. It's such a good meme, actually. It's a sick song. I can't believe I'm actually watching this play out in the movie. I saw the, the meme before the movie. Knight to H3. He's going to sacrifice himself. Check. No, 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 no. no. I love how dramatic they all were. Checkmate. Nice. <gasps> Quirrell. Yes, the, the turban thing. Ew. Yes. He's in waiting. Snape, he, he was the... <laughs> yes. He does seem the type, doesn't he? He does, but he's not. Who would suspect? B -b 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 stuttering <laughs> Professor Quirrell. It's all an act. He's not stuttering. During the Quidditch match, Snape tried to kill me. No. I tried to kill you. And trust me, if Snape's cloak hadn't caught fire and broken my eye contact, I would have succeeded. Oh, the fire worked. Use the boy. <gasps> Come here, Potter! Now! He's gonna use the dark arts. Harry. How is Harry not scared of anything? Tell me. What do you see? He could technically lie because he can't see. Oh. He has a stone. What is it? What do you see? I love that he can just lie right now. What do you see? Jeez. Speak to him. Master, you are not strong enough. Master, Voldemort's here. He's in the turban. That makes so much sense why he's wearing that. It's not because his head is cold, guys. It's not because his head is cold. It's because that's Voldemort. I did not expect that. I thought he was drinking the unicorn blood. 
How, yes. how, how, how? That's so creepy. See what I've become. You're the back of someone's head. Something that conveniently enough, no pocket. How does he know? When you can join I like Voldemort's voice too. His voices. Never! Join me? Ew, look at you. You're on the back of somebody's head looking like a great worm. <gasps> oh. How? Ow, is that because he touched the stone? Oh, you're about to dissolve into nothing, Voldemort. Have fun with that. Oh, his hands are powerful. Oh. This is so cool. Oh, goodbye. That means Voldemort's gonna disappear. Oh, so cool. He's turned into ashes. I like his cable knit sweater. What is that? That's Voldemort. <gasps> oh, he's still alive. Voldemort's never to be killed. He's just like some spirit. Oh, get well. He's in the hospital. That's a lot of candy. Yum. Mr. Dumbledore is back and looking really, really great. <laughs> His beard must be so hard to take care of. What happened to down in the dungeons between you and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret. Mm. So, naturally, the whole school knows. He really is going to be the most popular boy. Harry, do you know why Professor Quirrell couldn't bear to have you touch him? It was because of your mother. Love. This kind of mark cannot be seen. It lives in your very skin. Oh, so it wasn't from the stone. It's just on his touch, love, his hands. Oh, love. love. So because he has love, when he touches people of the dark arts, is that gonna happen every time? All right. Money? Never better. Their smiles warm my heart so much. I'm so happy for them. In fourth place, Gryffindor with 312 points. But Gryffindor should re be rewarded more with Harry's act, right? We gotta make some adjustments. Oh, they're so bummed. And I have a few last minute points to award. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. To Miss Hermione Granger, <laughs> for the cool use of intellect while others were in grave peril. Ron loves her. Second, to Mr. Ronald mm. Weasley for the best played game of chess, <laughs> Hogwarts, I've seen these many years. 50 points. Whoop, whoop. Harry should get 100. To Mr. Harry Potter. 100, come on. I award Gryffindor House. Yes. 60 points. Dumbledore is just so warm. Such a warm face. I award 10 points to Neville Longbottom. Yes. He tried to stop them from getting hurt. What a nug bug. He's in shock. I'm glad that they did that. <gasps> oh, he changed the flag. Gryffindor wins That's cool. Magic the house is really cup. fun. I'm just, I'm happy for Neville and that, you know, that kid needed a little boost. Such a happy movie. It's such a family friendly franchise. I get it. We need movies like this. Come on, Harry. One minute. He, Hagrid and him have such a special bond. <laughs> Hagrid's like freakishly obsessed with Harry, actually. Thought you were leaving about without it. saying goodbye, did you? He's obsessed with him like a little too much. Just kidding. This is for you. So sweet. <laughs> Thanks, Hagrid. I love that they show the angles like super down low to show just how big Hagrid is. Feels strange to be going home, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm not going home. Not really. Not really. What a magical place Hogwarts is. 
love Hagrid's like fatherly protection over Harry. Hagrid and Snape are both looking out for him and Dumbledore. He has a lot of protectors. What an innocent, sweet, sweet movie. Christopher Columbus, you've made the best first one. The first movie matters the most and they nailed it. It could be so much worse. It could have flopped if they had the wrong director, the wrong cast and just like the wrong direction. But you can tell JK Rowling is so involved with it and her heart and soul is there, which I, I think makes like the biggest difference when making a movie. You need to have the writer's love there. That was really sweet guys. I'll see you in Harry Potter. Two coming up on the channel, so check it out. If you want to go ahead and watch it now, it's on my Patreon, patreon.com slash All right, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.